Hey everyone, this is Shukesh Banik and you are watching Gadgets Portal. Today here I have with me this new Micromax A111 Canvas Doodle and you must have already seen the unboxing and the hands-on review. Now in this video I am going to make a quick hardware and a benchmark review on this device. So be with me throughout the video to get a better idea about this device before getting it. Now if you look at the display. The display is extremely bright and also very good. The colors are natural and the display is not as vivid as IPS display on the Canvas HD. Let me show you a Super AMOLED display side by side so that you can get a better idea about the brightness and the color reproduction and as you can see the display is extremely bright. The colors are not that much saturated and doesn't look that much punchy but the brightness is very good and if you lower the brightness then the display feels more soothing to the eyes. If you look at both of these devices as you can see the hardware quality and the design of both of these devices are almost same and this canvas doodle has got a stylus like the S Pen on this Galaxy Note 2. The back look of this device is even better than that of Note 2. So I am extremely happy with the exterior design of this phone. This is beyond doubt the best looking Micromax device till now. Now the display is a huge 5.3 inches display and it is a TFT display with 854 by 480 pixels resolution with 185 ppi. Here is the earpiece which is very stylish and looks good. There is a front facing 2 megapixels camera and this phone has got both proximity and ambient light sensors. Now at the bottom of this phone, these are the three Android capacitive keys and on the left here is the power key and on the right here is the volume rocker nicely matching the shiny bezel of this phone. At the top here is the headset jack along with the port for charging as well as data syncing and at the bottom there is nothing but a small hole for the microphone. Here is the 8 megapixels camera with dual flash and the quality of this camera is excellent. I think this is the best camera phone. Here is the shiny and embossed Micromax logo and here are the dual speakers. Not dual, it is actually a single speaker divided into two. The back look of this device is excellent and the front look, especially the black and white combination of this phone giving this an extremely good look. Here is the headset you get with this device which is a big disappointment for the music lovers. The clarity is ok but not that much good in the bus department and you can obviously get a premium one from the market. The look of this headset also doesn't go with the stylish design of this phone. Now this huge display is obviously not accessible with one finger but if you put your phone on your fingers you can easily access this whole display with your thumb. I always do this while using my Galaxy Note 2 and I am not getting any kind of problem while using this device with one hand. The touch response of this display is very good so far and the display glass is very smooth. I don't know exactly whether it has any scratch resistance coating but there is a scratch guard comes free with this device. Now unfortunately on this device also there is no magnetic sensor so there is no compass on this device. Well now regarding the video playback. I tried a full HD video and this phone could not handle that. It is extremely laggy and as you can see it is taking a lot of time. Here it is. So this phone cannot handle full HD videos and the camera on this device also cannot record in full HD. Let me show you an HD clip and this phone can handle that video very nicely. Here it is. There is no lag and it is very smooth. Watching movies on a 5.3 inches display is very enjoyable. As I told before, the camera on this device is extremely good. Visit facebook.com slash gadgets portal for the camera samples. The autofocusing, the shutter speed, each and everything is very fast and the quality, especially the macro photography is very good. Let me show you few important settings. First of all, this phone is running on 
Android 4.1.2 Jelly Bean which is almost latest and let me show you the storage and there is a good news for you the internal space of this phone is not that much but you can move your installed applications to the external SD storage which is great so get at least a 16 GB card with this phone preferably a class 10 card and here is the RAM info only 160 MB is free at this moment and this is not good officially it has 512 MB of RAM but the user available is always very low well the available space has become lower but it will increase and usually I get around 170 MB free I'll run some games on this device and talk about this in the in-depth review so subscribe and keep in touch with this channel now let me show you the multi-touch capability of this phone you will see that this phone has got one two three four and five point multi-touch now it is the time to run some benchmarks on this quad core device let me first show you the system info the model name is a hundred and eleven and this phone has got quad core processor with 1.2 GHz clock rate the RAM is 512 MB which is very low for a device like this the display has got only 480 by 854 pixels resolution and the GPU is Adreno 203 which is a mediocre GPU and here are the sensors this phone has got only the 3 axis accelerometer now let's run the benchmark by the way there is a sponsored announcement if you guys are in Kolkata, you can get this device from First Information Network in Highland Park. Just call on the number showing on the display and give our reference for that. Well, we have got 3534 on this quadrant standard and it is okay. Not excellent but not bad at all. Let's now run this Nina Mark 2 benchmark. Well, we have got only 34.7 FPS, which is not good for a device with a quad core processor. The GPU on this device is Adreno 203, which is a mediocre GPU. Now, let me show you the Antutu benchmark. Well, we have got 8764 which is quite good but not that much good for a quad core device let me show you the detailed info here as you can see the cpu department has got good results but the 3d graphics is very low let me show you the stylus you get free with this device you can also attach the cap to this headphone jack so that you never lose it the tip of this phone has got a rubber ball and you have to actually press hard on the display to get it detected and this is basically a substitute of your finger if you want to use this phone with two hands it is also very useful while drawing and i'll show you a quick demo of it in the next video but overall i am not very much satisfied with this stylus a stylus should have a pointy head well by the way this is the end of this video and wait for the full in-depth review on this device where I'll show you the user interface along with the browser, camera etc. So don't forget to subscribe and keep in touch. You can also visit my facebook page facebook.com slash gadgets portal for the camera samples. Also check the games and apps channel at youtube.com slash gadgets portal play. So thanks for watching. Bye bye and keep in touch.